Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. Welcome to another quick guitar lesson. Today, something a little bit different, a bit of alternative rock. I did a bit of this track on my recent Kurt Cobain Fender Jaguar review. It is from the album Last Splash by The Breeders of The Breeders. It was released in August 1993 contains a smash hit Cannonball, which, in my humble opinion, is one of the finest songs ever written. The second single from the album was called Divine Hammer, and that's what I'm doing today. So today's lesson is for Divine Hammer by the Beaders. Now the expectation level here is, I'm showing you how I play the song. I'm not saying this is how Kelly and Kim, Kim and Kelly, play this song. This is how I would play it. Someone phoned me up and says, Dunsey, we're putting a Breeders covers band together. Can you be Kim or Kelly Deal? I would, <laughs> I would turn up and play this, so let's get on with it. There are two distinct parts. All the parts that Kim plays are played with bar chords. Well, I have seen some video um, from the early 90s where she's playing it with a capo, but certainly most of the stuff you see these days, she's playing it with bar chords. So it's an A major bar chord up here on the 6th fret. Over to a D sharp bar chord on the 6th fret, we're using the root note of the 6th fret of the A string. Next chord is a C minor, up here on the 7th fret, sorry 8th fret, then over, just change the strings over to an F major bar chord. So it goes like this. I mean she tends to change her strumming pattern as well, but I'm just going to play it straight so you can hear it. So that's mostly how the verse goes, that's just the parts uh, that Kim is playing. Now when it goes to the chorus, the chorus is just these two chords, the D sharp chord, Over, back over to the A sharp bar chord. So what I'll do is I'll play through a verse and then into the chorus part. quite easy, it's just those bar chords. Now in the solo section where Kelly's playing a solo, uh, Kim is playing. So again it's just the same chords but we start on the D sharp major bar chord. Over to the C minor. Back to the D sharp. To the A sharp. And that's all the parts that Kim plays in the song, so it's just those bar chords, just going around the same sort of four bar chords. Now I'll show you what Kelly does, or what I think Kelly does. The song starts with a uh, bass from Josephine Wiggs, and I think Kelly is just playing these notes, the D, the fifth fret of the A string, down to the C, third fret of the A string. She maybe finishes on the F, which is the third fret of the D. But certainly for the most of the song, she just plays this little chord up here, which is really an, an A sharp. It's, it's a D shape, so think of the D shape. We move it all the way up to the 10th fret, and we're really just playing the top three strings. And then she does the suspension. She puts her pinky down on the 11th fret 
of the top E string, so it's like that. So I can zoom in a bit, move my guitar in a bit. So it's just that D shape, and then put your pinky down on the 11th fret of the top E string. That kind of rhythm, but that tends to be what she's playing through just about the whole song, apart from the guitar solo. So I'll show you how I think the guitar solo goes, I'll play it first slowly. And then back to the... So I'm hearing that as the first part as she's sliding from the 3rd fret of the A string to the 5th fret over to the 3rd fret of the D string to the 5th fret of the D string so what I'll do is I'll add a part each time and then play through it to the 3rd fret of the G to the 5th fret of the D G sorry and just when she hits the 5th fret of the G, slide up to the 7th fret of the G. So, so far we have... Back down to the 5th fret, to the 3rd fret of the G, and then this toggle between the 2nd fret and the 3rd fret. And she hangs on that 2nd fret of the G, which is an A note. So, so far we have... Now, I think this is one of my favourite bits in the song, I mean, it's a great song, but she does this and she holds on the A note and the chord underneath that Kelly's playing is actually an A sharp major, I believe. So Kelly's playing, sorry, Kim, you get mixed up. Kim's playing these notes and then Kelly's keeping on the A, so it kind of adds a bit of dissonance. It's that sort of chord that's underneath it. I mean, me as a rock guy, I, I probably wouldn't have stayed on that note. I would have went to the, probably down to the F, the third fret of the D string, which is the fifth of the A sharp chord. But, you know, that, that's, the, that's the alternative rock thinking right there in action. Adding a bit of tension, adding something that's a bit dissonant. So staying on that A note, it's like super clever. It's not something that I would have done without somebody saying, Dunsey, I think you should stay on that A note. That'll sound, that'll sound brilliant. And indeed it does. So that is the first part of the solo. I will play through it again very slowly. <laughs> beginning of the second part starts the same. Again. So it starts the same. So slide in. And this time we go to the fifth fret of the D string back to the 3rd fret of the G string, 5th fret of the G string, to the 3rd fret of the G string, 5th and slide up, to the 6th fret of the B, and then back to the 7th fret of the G, so 7G, 6B, 8B, and finish with two hits on the 6th fret of the top E string. So I'll play through that second part slowly because it sounds, sounds more complicated than it is. One more time. 
of time. Very, very slowly. So I'll do the whole of the solo slowly. And then she goes back to doing this little E sharp. And that's it. And that's the whole of the song. Divine Hammer by The Breeders, which is brilliant. The album is just, I think it's sold over a million copies now. But, um, oh, the last splash, what a, what a great album. I mean, I'm sure anybody who's watching this lesson is well aware of what a great album is. But should you not be aware of what a great album this is, please do check it out. Here's another couple of interesting things about The Breeders, which I'm sure you know. The late, great Steve Albini, who died, died earlier this week, man, he's only 61 years old, truly, truly crazy, big loss. Steve Albini produced Pod, and he recorded it in Edinburgh, Palladium Studios. I'm in Edinburgh, so he was in Edinburgh with the readers to record Pod, and the other good thing, well, there's tons of good things about the readers, could be as cool as Kim Deal. On the B-side of, well, B-side, it's a CD single, this one. Um, they do a cover of Lord of the Thighs by Aerosmith, if you can believe that. I think Josephine Wiggs sings this one. So you have a folks, that was another quick guitar lesson. Hopefully I've kept it down to about 10 minutes. That was Divine Hammer by The Breeders. As ever, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Cheers for now. <laughs>